three film cameras that I think you should buy in 2023. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the type of cameras and also my suggested cameras based off my camera collection. So let's get straight into it. Just getting started with film photography, I would recommend that you get a point and shoot film camera. So here I have my Olympus Trip. This is the Olympus Trip MP, MD, sorry. It's a very easy point and shoot to use. Simply, all you need to do is slide to get it open and also has flash that pops up here. You'll hear the flash sync. You fire and it winds. Simple as that. To load film, you have a thing here to just open, insert film, and you're good to go. Most point and shoots are just like that. I feel like very first camera to buy, China film, go for a point and shoot. Camera number two is a more mechanical camera that you can definitely, you know, do you focus in, do you wind in, take any shots, all that type of stuff. And for this, my favorite brand is Olympus. I know there is Minolta, there's Pentax, but I've been using the Olympus range. I have an Olympus OM10, and I also have an Olympus OM40. The OM10 feels a bit better. Any one of these will do the job. I also have the Pentax here. Pentax is super light. They tend to be a bit more compact. Um, so it's really up to you which body you prefer. Um, Olympus tends to be a bit more expensive and then the Nikon cameras are also a bit more expensive. Pentax are normally more beginner friendly, I'd say. It's very easy to set up both cameras. Um, Pentax may be a little bit easier, but I like shooting on both. But for me, I prefer the Olympus. I tend to get a sharper image on the Olympus. Next, I would say get a medium format camera or get an experimental camera. You know, a camera that you don't really see you know, in the wild. So for example, here, I have what I have nicknamed the Russian tank. So I have a Russian film camera called the Zenit E. Very much old school camera. You can see how chunky it is, how big, you know, but the technology isn't that bad. Focusing on it also is really nice. Like I actually enjoy this camera so much. Um, this is my go-to camera for black and white shots. Once I'm shooting black and white, my Zen E comes with me. So yeah, get an experimental camera or get a medium format camera. I don't have a medium format camera here with me, so I can't show you one. And to throw in one more camera, so not just the top three cameras to get our top four, I'm going to throw in, get yourself a digital camera, right? Digital cameras are definitely not the new film cameras, right? They both live in their own spaces, but we see how expensive film is. You can get yourself a nice digital camera for very cheap nowadays, and you can still get a similar film look. And if you don't have, or if you can't be bothered to buy um, a recorder to get that nice, you know, vintage 90s recorder video look, if you pick up Here's a secret, if you pick up a Digicam that records, it gives you exactly the same look as a camcorder. Yeah, for much cheaper actually. But yeah, these are my top three plus four um, film cameras that you should definitely check out. And I, like I said, Digicam is also in there. Digicam isn't a film camera, you know, but yeah. Yeah, so thanks for watching. My name is Trey and if you liked this video, if you got some knowledge, definitely subscribe and give it a like and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.